Hmm? Do you play with Peppa Pig? Are you okay? Hmm? What's that? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, we take this off. Look. Look. Look, look, look. Everyone is here. Look, look. Great stuff. Hello, hello, hello. I'm piled up with all my Dad. birthday presents. How's everybody doing? I've got Dad. a I've got a really, really good surprise Dad. for you. Yeah, honey? Yeah? <laughs> Hold on. Look, look. Kalia, yeah. say hello. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're not screaming. Say hey. <laughs> All right, we're going to see how this is going to work. Ah, uh, yes, the books are here. Every single one of them. I'm putting, I'm putting them all uh, in there. Hope you're having a fantastic day. My day has been so fun. And look, I've got uh, company today. I hope it's going to work out. You never know what happens when you work with kids. <laughs> hey, honey. Yeah? All right. Okay, we do that. We take that for you. Okay? There we go. Are you okay? All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we're just having fun here with my little girl. I don't know if you can see her over there. And Stephen, thank you so much for tuning in. Now the books are here, guys. Like, I've got tons and tons and tons um, of presents. I'm going to be opening some of them. And, yeah, just really want to thank you guys for all the support, all the love, everything else that comes along with it. You guys make this very, very special for me and my family and everybody else that's involved. So... Uh, Simran says hello, yes, and Kalia is here, she's chilling with dad today, I hope it's all going to work out perfectly, Jack, thank you so much, so, in case you're wondering what's going on here, uh, three weeks ago I put out a, um, a, a pledge for people to help me out with books, and now I've got all of these, and I'm going to try and open them up all together, and, voila, the first one is Tony Robbins, and the outliers and the richest men in Babylon. Now, the one thing about Amazon is... Right, this one came in from Stephen Kelly. Stephen Kelly is an amazing... Are you okay? Stephen Kelly is an amazing... Are you okay? Are you okay, honey? Are you alright? Sorry about that. Um, Stephen, sorry man, I'm looking at these books. Um, the great, the great, richest man in Babylon, and the outliers, and the money master the game. Thank you so much. I'm gonna treasure this one, Steve, and you know definitely that I am going to do that. I hope I'm gonna be able to open every one of these presents today. You guys are so amazing. You know something? Life is a gift, you know what I mean? And it, if it has been given to you, it's in your hands to actually make the best out of it. Today is one of those days where I'm actually really thanking everybody around. I'm not going to try and be something that I'm not. My little girl is playing around with me today in the office and it's just a matter of gratitude, you know. Um, I really do appreciate everyone that has been supporting me throughout. Um, it's, it's not easy being up here and, you know, trying to raise a family and also just really try and have a life that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, Tim... Yes, honey. <laughs> she found the candy stash. All right, don't judge me. It's my birthday. She's enjoying her day. Cool stuff. Uh, there we go. You okay? You okay? There we go. Say say hello. Can you see that? Say hey. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Let's say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Dad. No. All right. You you can never really get them to act on prompt. But um, yeah. This is this is my life, guys. Uh, behind the scenes, and this is a gift from Tim. Tim Button sent me Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Oh my God. Tim Button is um, one of my uh, newly found partners um, 
We're really doing some amazing work together and I really, really appreciate your gift, uh, Tim. All right, what's the next one? Sorry, it's, it's, it's just that I've got so many to go through and I really want to make sure everybody gets their air time so that I, you can actually see that I can, I am appreciating this. All right, this one looks like a really, really good one. This one looks like a really, really good one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, Chris, Christine, there we go. Jab, jab, right hook. I cannot thank you enough for this book. I've been waiting forever for this book. And Christine, you have actually just made my day. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I, I wish you could see, um, you know, I wish you could see how, I mean, you can see how excited I am right now. Hey, honey. Are you stuck? Okay. Please, can you let daddy finish? Huh? Are you going to let daddy finish? Mm. Okay. All right. I think, I think this is not going to work. If you can just give me a second, I will just get Dad. her away. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. No, it's okay. Uh -huh. No, you, you can't have that. Daddy. Okay. It's Dad. fine. Let's go to mom. Dad. Yeah, let's go to mom. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody else. I was still talking about uh, Chris. Chris, I've been waiting for this book for a very, very long time. Um, you, yes, you literally picked the best one. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for this. All right. Um, right. Gosh. All right. I really want to make sure I thank everybody else in the process. Um, it's, it's so amazing what you guys have done for me. Um, and don't, don't ever think that this is not appreciated at all. Don't you ever think that this is not appreciated at all. Okay. Um, because at the end of the day, through all the ups and the downs that we might go in, you might find a lesson, you know, that would make you a better person. And my pledge and my hope is just to be a perfect example to everybody else. You probably just saw my little girl. Um, yeah, obviously we can't contain her to stay with us, but she's my pride and joy and you guys are just actually, you know, really fulfilling that and, and, and making it all worth, worthwhile. Okay. Um, this one is a really special one. Wow. It comes. Whoa. Okay. All right. Gift for me. Um, this is coming in from. Eva. Wow. Okay. It's so good to have clients that really, really think for you. So this is from Eva, uh, into, um, Pilates, uh, I think. And let's see what this is. This looks like a really special, um, gift right there. And, and if you're wherever you are right now, I just really, really want you to know that Sometimes the greatest day in your life and mine is when you actually start taking total responsibility for your attitudes. That's the day you actually really, really grow up. You know why? Because when you let everything to chance, all right, today wouldn't be as special as it is if I just hoped that somebody was going to give me a present. I asked and I told people and I was like, hey guys, can you do me a solid and um, help me with, um, help me with, um, with the books, all right, and yeah, those that have a heart, they obliged and they they sent through the books, right? This is, oh wow, all right, all right, the business book, all right. This is big money with your book without even selling a single copy. This year, I pledged to write my own best seller, and this book is actually going to help me do that. Eva, thank you so much. Eva is actually. My neighbor, so I'm gonna probably pop in a little bit later on and thank her um, in person while I can. This is this is so special, guys. Like you have no idea. All right. So there's still some more. 
Whoa, a $100 gift voucher so that I can buy some more books. You beauty, thank you so much. All right, I better keep this one in a in a good a place. Oh my God, this is this is hectic, guys. You, I mean, obviously I'm trying to contain myself, but this is so so much. You know, I came in from Africa, and um, you know, I didn't have a great deal and a hell of a lot, but I feel like I have actually grown to have people around me that actually care, and I can only reciprocate that by being of value and actually really making everyone's life, you know, worthwhile. Because at the end of the day, as difficult or as, as easy as you might want to admit that life is, there's some things in life that would never change. If you're nice to people, people will always be nice back. Thank you so much, Samantha. Thank you so much, Sue Mills. Thank you so much, everybody else that's just tuning in. Thank you so much. All right. May these laws be the epitome of your success, John C. Thank you so much. This is the 24 uh, laws of undeniable success coming through right now. Thank you so much, John C. I will definitely be thanking everybody in person. Uh, Trish, Trish is here. I hope, I hope everyone is. Um, uh, oh my God, this is this is this is such a moment for me. You know what I mean. Um, there's, there's some things that you can never deny, um, about life and, and how things actually work out. Um, back in the day, I wouldn't even think of a day like this. You know what I mean? The, what, one of these, what is actually happening to me now is, 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 is a matter of having created something that I've always wanted. I never had to open birthday presents like this. Like it's. It's out of this world having people coming in and actually, I mean, every one of you guys, if I would meet you in person, I would just sort of, yeah, just totally give you a hug. Growing up with nothing, guys, and yeah, try, trying to make a dollar out of whatever 50 cents I've, I've ever had. And I can't, I can't thank you enough. And the only way I can really, really um, appreciate this is... I don't know. I, I, I can only give value, all right? Because I know some people don't have mentors and I know some people don't have role models and I know some people don't have people to look up to. So every single day that I wake up, I know I'm not doing it for a hundred people. I'm just doing it for that one person who actually just really needed to hear something, you know, because some of the greatest minds are being subjugated by the environment that we're living around because some people really have potential. Everybody has potential in them. Do you know what I mean? But their peers, their environment, the people that are around them, they're always, always thinking either they're mad people or they're, you know, they're just wasting their time. So I want to be, <clears throat> I want to represent the idea that you can actually you can actually be, do, and have a life that's profitable and enjoyable. You, you have no idea how it felt for me when I knew nobody. You have no idea how I felt when I got to Australia and, and I was trying to fit in. But now I'm actually just laughing at people that, you know, that are working hard to fit into circumstances or scenarios. You are born to be a leader and don't let nobody take away your shine. Like, I, I can't tell you this enough, guys. If you put your heart and your soul to everything, I promise you, I'll be standing with you and I'll be just excited for you because you know what? Everybody, I, I know everybody that's going to have a chance to be in my space. And it's contagious, I know, but you are so going to make it. You are so going to be the best that ever was if you only put your mind to it. All right? It's not simple. There, there will be people that are going to tell you, you know, you're not going to amount to anything. But don't pay attention to what other people are doing. All right? If people like Elon Musk, if people like Gary Vaynerchuk, if people like Oprah Winfrey cared about what people thought, I would want to tell you something. Don't care even if they steal your ideas, that's validation to say that somebody actually cares about what you're doing. All right? You should just, rather than focusing on what the world can take away from you, you need to focus on what you can put back into the world. All right? 
but today I'm really grateful for what's happening here right now. I'm, I'm just beside myself. Um, you, you have no idea how I contained myself. Um, you know, how I contained myself to not open any of these books. Now, I've got a gift here from Deborah Perkis, the social media angel. Thank you so much. And guess what the book is? The Innovator's Dilemma. Oh, wow. I've been waiting for this book for a very, very long time. All right. And this is exactly what I was just talking about. The innovator's dilemma. You know, when you're innovating and when you're trying to put things together and when you're trying to work, there's always those naysayers that are not going to put you through. Okay. Don't expect anyone to put you forward. You got this. All right. Thank you so much, um, uh, Deborah. I will be thanking every single person in person for the books that they have sent to me. Don't you, don't you worry. Okay. Right. Now, what's next? I'm just doing it so that we are in time for the 30 minutes. You, you'll be surprised, guys, how 30 minutes goes fast. Um, Rebecca says, love the raw en energy and emotion that you share. Prosper real men. Let their feelings show. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know what? People that don't show feelings have got nothing to offer. I've got nothing but love. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, at the end of the day, you, you, people are just an extension of who you are. Some people think the world is a bad place, but it's what you put in your head that makes you see things like that. If you're going to be looking outside using, um, you know, sunglasses, all you're going to see is darkness. But if you've got a clear lens, you see all the beauty that's out there. And I really, really wish it on everyone that's, that's, that's going to be in my presence because at the end of the day, it's, you just really, really, really want to be patient. The world is so full of so many promises that you have no idea who the next person is going to, um, you know, save you and help you. Right. This is a present from Craig Cassidy. Craig Cassidy uh, from Queensland. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've, I've been waiting for this book for a while. Um, it's the monk that sold this Ferrari. Uh, uh, Ferrari. Thank you so much, Craig. This, this is, this is just perfect. I, I, I I'm gonna probably, I don't know. I, I can't be choosers right now, but this is all just becoming too much now. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Who's next? Uh, thank you so much, Craig. Craig, that was um, that 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 was brilliant. And Bobby Buscoran says, "Happy birthday, mate! All the best for an awesome year." Thank you so much. And everybody else that's watching and everybody else that's tuning in, I cannot thank you enough. You could be anywhere else in the world right now, but you chose to spend a bit of time with me here and. God bless. Um, whatever you believe in, it's just one of those things. I put up a status before this and, 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 and I mentioned that you should never stop creating. You know why? The world is waiting to hear your voice. The world is waiting to see the work of your hands. And if you are not putting stuff out there, you depriving the world of your capabilities. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Who are you to deny the world of your supreme power? Who are you to deny the world of your creativity? Are you that selfish? All right. I really want to be standing here and sitting around with people that have gotten somewhere, people that are winning, because I know every one of you guys is watching this is a total winner. You're right. No matter what anybody says, even yourself, even you who's sitting there watching this, don't ever stop creating. All right. Don't stop making things because the world is waiting for your gifts. The world is waiting for your voice. The world is waiting for everything else that comes along with you being you. All right. And I appreciate your moment right now. The world needs more of what you can offer. And while it seems like, you know, it might be hard, it might be futile at times, your creativity is going to change the world in many ways than you can ever imagine. Who would have thought that this African kid would have just, you know, been on a plane and now I'm here. I know the impact that I have with a lot of people. I'm just a little bit humble. You know why? I was brought up that way. All right. But at the end of the day, you, I know and I know you have greatness inside of you. Whoever told you that 
Tell them to go back where they came from. Because that's where they belong. Alright? Don't ever let anybody tell you any different. Not even you. Alright? It is your responsibility to use your talents and make the world a better place. The reason why everything is not working is because you haven't put anything in there. And that's the reason why shit ain't working. And Justin, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, it's my birthday, right? I'm not, I'm not a hater or anything. I'm just full of love and gratitude. And I just can't wait to give every one of you guys a big, big, big hug for all this. Wow. Wow, this is a big one. Let's wait for this one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, Megan. Oh my God. Megan Hill. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Look at the book she got me. Influence. As if I don't influence people enough. All right. You're creating a monster here, my love. Oh, and check this out. Start with why. Simon Sinek. Oh my God, Megan, you beauty. Um, oh, Brendan Bashad, life's golden ticket. I think today I've been given life's golden ticket. Guys, do you notice that money is not everything? I sit around here and just speak for free. But look at the love, man. If somebody takes their credit card to purchase something for you, that means a lot, guys, and I really, really appreciate that. Like, you have no idea. I never had presents myself growing up. I never did. Like, another thing. My mom, my mom passed away. Can you imagine how proud she would have been today? Not, not because of me. My daughter. My wife, my work, God rest his soul. You have no idea how much potential you have. Whatever might be going through in your life, all you got to do is realize that you're the one. You are the one that's destined for a lot of greatness. I, I just want everybody to win so much. Like you have no idea. And I think this is my life's golden ticket. So many times I could have died. So many times I could have... I could have stopped. I could have just not done anything. But something deep inside. Thank you, thank you everybody else for tuning in. It's, it's like... Now I have to man up because... Because look at this. I'm reading The Art of War. It's not easy, guys. It's, it's just not easy being in a position like this and having so much responsibility when you also maybe need a hug once in a while. Because I don't have anyone to tell any of these things to, do you know? Like, yes, I've got my wife and I've got my daughter and a couple of friends here and there, but... Sometimes you, you might just need to talk to mom. Every one of you guys goes to mom whenever lights don't work or something like that. Um, beginning of winter, our, <clears throat> our heater got bust. And we had all our money tied up in, in, the, um, um, in our properties. So we were just going there with, with nothing. For four days, my daughter was waking up and the only thing that we did to cover up was to put up a lot of jumpers for her, you know? But I was coming over and talking to everybody else as if everything was okay. Cause I know the weight that I'm carrying on my shoulders. All right? So don't you never let nothing get in front of you. Like seriously guys, in today's modern world, people are just looking, you know, maybe for business ideas or, you know, a million dollar inventions everywhere, you know what I mean? But you just got to create for creation's sake because you never, never know where the blessings are going to come from. Maybe you're holding them and, and, and maybe one live show that you could do would actually change somebody's life and then maybe 20 years down the line, they would come around and change your life forever. 
I'm not anything special, guys. I'm just, I'm just like you guys. I'm even maybe far worse off. You know? Electrifying says, because of you, Prosper, I have decided to leave my third world country and study abroad. Good luck, man. It's not going to be easy, but follow your heart. Do what you can with what you have whenever you are. Because let me tell you something, man. People are always going to act weird in elevators. All right. <laughs> have you ever been in an elevator and tried to look behind? People think you... You're about to do something to them. All right, we're still, we're still going to go on. This, this was just a moment for me, guys. Just, just bear with me. I think we've only got five minutes, so I'm going to try and rush through all the other presents. I really, really, really hope that, you know, this is, this is, oh, wow. Check this bad boy out. Personalized like a, check this bad boy out. Uh, Trish says, Ah, come on, who is giving all those hate symbols? Just go away, somebody. Like, who would be getting, giving all those hate symbols? Somebody take them away or whatever it is. Oh, wow. Oh, this is special. This is like my whole Facebook. And look at how... Oh, wow, look. My whole Facebook has been replicated on... Oh, I don't... So if you see me not uh, coming on Facebook, guys... <laughs> Alright, this came from Anne Sivas. Oh, Anne! This is it, right? Prosper, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. I thought I'd send you a book of Prosper. Keep doing you, my friend. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Okay, look at this again. It's like... Look at this. All right, I'm, I'm no longer going to be on Facebook. I'm pretty much just going to be chilling here. Oh, my God. This is so cool. And Trish, Trish, you're here. Look, Trish is there. And Matt, look. <laughs> oh, this is so special. Um, and I will definitely get back to you on this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, hopefully... Hopefully we've got something here. Hopefully we've got something here. Thank you so much, guys. Do you know what I mean? Thank you so much. You have no idea. Okay, uh, where are we now? Oh, Trish. This is Trish Miller. If anybody, anybody, anybody wants any graphic design done, Trish... Mileli is your girl, all right? I think I saved the best one for the last. Check this out. All right. Okay, okay, okay. This this deserves a standing ovation. Trish, love you so much, hun. I've been dying for this book. I couldn't afford to do an NLP course because it costs about $3,000, but this is all that I needed. You have no idea how you're going to change my life. Thank you so much, Trish. Thank you. Wow. 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 Oh. Trish. Look at this. The greatest secret in the world. I can't thank you enough. I've been looking at this book ever since I got the other one. The greatest salesman in the world. Now there's two of them. Woo! Oh, you have no idea your book choices. Either you did this on purpose. Either you did this on purpose or I don't know, but this is this is out of this world. How did you know? All right. I don't know if I need this though. <laughs> The charisma myth. I don't know if I did this, but oh my god. The, how anyone can master the art and science of personal magnetism. I'm going to be a total beast after reading this. All right. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. So it's gift cards. My table looks like a mess, like a bomb exploded on there. And oh, this is from my wife, my dear wife. And she... She knows me too well. 
Wow. 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 Okay. I'll I'll thank her later. All right. Wow. 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 Um, guys, like, I really want to thank everybody else. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Alright? Check this out. From the desk of... <laughs> oh, you know you are on a roll when things like this are happening. Thank you so much, bravo. I know he doesn't watch my lives because he's too cool for school. Oh, wow. This is, this is amazing, guys. Like, you have no idea. Um, I'm going to sit down and look at every one of these packages neatly and nicely. With time, I'm just rushing through them. Um, just because I want everybody else to understand how much I appreciate their time, their money, their space. Um, this, is, this is coming from Jamal. Uh, making money. Success, uh, 10, 10. <laughs> oh my God. You know people know you enough when they're sending you books like this. All right, look at this one. The best book of useless information ever. <laughs> and the one minute millionaire. Oh my God. Guys, my table looks like, um... Um, you know, a bomb exploded or something like that, but I really, really, really want to thank you. Everybody else has been tuning in on this episode. Um, it's, if it's the first time you're watching this episode, my name is Prosper and I really appreciate you being there right now. And I really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to take the rest of the day off. I haven't been working anyway. And then I'm going to spend time with my family. We're going to go out for dinner and then we'll see how it all works out. Okay, Steven. Oh, I think the bookshelf will, will pretty much work out. Oh, there's, there's still some more packages that I haven't opened, guys. Whoa, okay. I will be thanking every single one of you guys in person. Um, it's not every day that everybody gets to show you so much love. And I really want you to know that life actually is a gift. All right? You guys have shown me how much love there is out there in the world um you know in your hands it's really up to you to make the best of what's out there you know what i mean just dare to believe i put out a status the other day and i was like guys can you buy me books and look at the love that just happened in here it looks like um amazon just had an explosion i want you to leave you with one thing guys each experience whether it's good or it's bad it's actually going to make you grow i've been through a hell of a lot and all i can do is just give back to those that are also giving you know what i mean like you want to just leave for today and enjoy every single moment and capture the best of what life has to offer you all right like it's we we're not in a race we are just really living a life that has to be supposed that's supposed to be uh, profitable and enjoyable okay and um uh here's some serious reading to do dig in i definitely have and you guys are gonna see a totally big different change because if i'm not reading and growing then what the hell am i doing all right just one other thing believe that life is worth living all right and believe that you can actually help to create that fact be a testimony to people that are watching you and everybody else that's around you that life is simple and you too can be do and have a life that's profitable and enjoyable let's continue this conversation in the comments below and i really really appreciate you guys thank you so much